Seeking something beyond the usual great white and whale shark videos? Dive into this intriguing journey with me. In this video, discover the world's rarest and most peculiar sharks, from one blazing through the water at 50 miles slash it and another boasting a circular saw in its mouth, to incredible sharks that live for over 500 years. Number 10. Thresher Shark The Thresher Shark is one of the most curious species that inhabits the world ocean. These sharks are closely related to the great white sharks, but they have one huge difference, huge in the literal sense of the word, because their tail fin is of incredible size. It can be as long as the entire torso of the shark, and its main advantage is to give the shark acceleration during the hunt. The thresher shark is among the fastest inhabitants of the ocean and can reach speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour. For a long time, Scientists couldn't figure out what other functions the tail of this shark performs during the hunt. Only in 2010, scientists finally managed to consider the mechanisms of its work in detail. It was assumed that the shark uses its fin to swim into a school of fish, sardines for example, and then stun the fishes with tail blows from side to side. It turns out that, in fact, the thresher shark first uses its tail fin as a break. Thus, it manages to stop quickly right in the middle of the school of fish, then the tail starts to be used as a bat. The shark throws it forward and stuns several fish at once. Thresher sharks are one of the few warm-blooded animals of the family. Homeothermy gives them an advantage in speed and agility. Interestingly that despite the rarity of the species, people have known about it for a long time. For the first time, thresher sharks were described by Aristotle. Fortunately, today the world ocean is no longer home to many of the bloodthirsty and horrible sharks that inhabited it millions of years ago, but it's worth taking a look at one of them. Stay tuned and you'll soon see a creepy shark with a circular saw in its mouth. Find out what kind of shark can live for 500 years and be amazed at an enormous shark that can be almost 10 meters long. Let's move on. Number 9. Angular Rough Shark the angular rough shark at first glance seems quite unremarkable. It spends most of its life in the murky bottom waters off the coast of Europe and Africa. Like many bottom fishes, the angular rough shark has enlarged gills, but they're not behind the head and just above the eyes. This gives the shark a creepy look, and don't forget about the pig's heel that adorns the shark's nose. Perhaps it's because of its appearance and rarity, the angular rough shark in the nuts is considered a bad omen among fishermen. In the Adriatic Sea, this species has long been considered extinct, but recent findings of fishermen have shown the verdict was wrong. Good news for angular rough sharks, bad news for superstitious fishermen. Number 8. Bamboo Sharks The bamboo shark, also known as the long-tailed carpet shark, is a family of sharks that lives in the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean at depths of up to 18 meters. They're very small predators, their maximum body length is only 120 centimeters. These sharks, called bamboo ones because of the long whiskers, which help them navigate in space and determine the movements of prey or larger predators. Bamboo sharks cannot boast of speed. Usually, they slowly swim near the bottom in search of shellfish or worms. This is not the rarest shark in this episode and in the world, but even experienced divers don't always manage to see it in the wild. The reason for that is the coloration of this fish, which allows it to completely blend in with the sea bit. Fun fact, it's quite easy to get this fish in the aquarium in your house. Recently, its popularity as a pet has increased manifold. Number 7. Helicoprion. Despite its creepy appearance, there's no need to fear Helicoprion. These giants lived as long as 290 million years ago and are long since dead. A large number of fossils of this species that scientists have found in recent decades have helped to model its exact image. Scientists believe that Helicoprion could reach up to 12 meters in length, which is twice the length of a great white shark. A unique feature of Helicoprion is the structure of its jaw of the prehistoric monsters worked exactly on the principle of the saw. When Helicoprion bit its prey, its teeth rotated inside the throat on their axis. That is Helicoprion literally sawed its prey. Yikes! Number 6. Greenland Shark 
Although modern sharks cannot compete in size with their prehistoric ancestors, there are many more large species in the depths of the world ocean than we think. For example, few people know about the Greenland shark, which lives in the northern waters of the Atlantic Ocean. On average, adults of this species reach 3 to 4 feet in length, but there are individuals which length exceeds 6 meters. However, such shark will take a long time to grow, because the Greenland shark reaches maturity only at the age of 150 years. Radiocarbon analysis of tissues of several individuals showed that some of the Greenland sharks are more than 500 years old. I didn't make a mistake, these polar animals indeed can be called the oldest fishes on the planet. In the world ocean, there are still some Greenland sharks, which were born during the reign of Elizabeth I in England. By the way, the maximum speed of the Greenland shark doesn't exceed 2.7 miles per hour, which makes it the slowest one, not only among sharks, but also among all the fish that exist today. But why are these sharks so slow? And why do they grow for such a long time? The reason for such speed is the extremely low temperature of its habitat. After all, the body temperature of the fish depends on the ambient temperature, and this affects the speed of physiological processes in the animal body. Thus, many physiological processes of the Greenland shark, including muscle contraction, are slowed down. Number 5. Megamouth Shark As its name might suggest, this shark can be distinguished by its huge mouth. From the inside, its wide mouth is covered with a luminous coating that attracts plankton. The flow of water, along with small victims, passes through the mouth and out through the gills. Gill outgrowths stand in the way of the krill, working like a filter. The megamouth shark is capable of sucking up its small prey. Once in a plankton swarm, it makes a swallowing motion every four minutes. Scientists know little about this species. The megamouth sharks are caught so rarely that the species itself was officially discovered only in 1976. Since its discovery, official science has recorded only a few dozen sightings of the species. Number 4. Great Hammerhead The Great Hammerhead is very easy to distinguish from other sharks, but it's not easy to find in the open ocean. Science knows several subspecies of this shark, and all of them prefer to stay as far away from civilization as possible. The Great Hammerhead can reach a length of 6.1 meters. The unusual shape of the head gives this species an advantage when hunting. Growths on the muzzle help the shark to catch electromagnetic pulses of prey. Interestingly, this species is the only one among sharks that tans in the sunlight and literally changes its skin color. Number 3. Six-gill saw shark. Continuing the theme of underwater tools, the great hammerhead will be followed by the saw, or to be precise, the six-gill saw shark. The six-gill saw shark is the only species of the genus Pleiotrema. A distinctive feature of this fish is an elongated and flattened muzzle, carrying large saw-like teeth on its sides. To date, science knows a few subspecies of the six-gill saw sharks, and most of them are found in the warm waters of the Indian Ocean off Africa. No matter how creepy it may look, this shark doesn't saw anyone with its teeth. These predators lead a benthic lifestyle, eating mostly crustaceans, clams, and small bottom fishes. Number 2. Goblin Shark The goblin shark is a rare species of deep-sea shark. How to describe this shark? Those who've seen old horror movies know who the xenomorphs or aliens are. Yeah, the ones that have another mouth that comes out of their mouth at the moment of attack to deliver the decisive blow. But did you know that it's not only possible in sci-fi movies? When the goblin shark is full, its mouth is almost invisible. However, if a potential dinner appears on the way of the hungry shark, powerful jaws protrude from its flat muzzle. This sight is worthy of Hollywood horror movies. This shark was first discovered in 1898 off the coast of Japan. To date, scientists managed to see only a few dozen individuals, and most often they were found off the coast of Japan. The largest known goblin shark reached 3.8 meters in length and weighed 210 kilograms. Today, scientists don't have enough information about this fish to say whether the species is endangered or not. 
In many ways, what makes these sharks so rare and difficult to observe is the fact that the goblin shark lives at great depths. Most individuals have been seen at depths over 200 meters. Number 1. Basking Shark The basking shark is the second largest living shark after the whale shark. These sharks are found in the cool and warm temperate waters of all oceans at fairly great depths. The maximum recorded length reaches 9.8 meters, but according to rumors, there are individuals over 15 meters long. The maximum recorded weight of the basking shark is 4 tons. Individuals less than 3 meters long are extremely rare. The basking sharks swim slowly enough and feed on small crustaceans. Most of the time, their mouth is open, so they look for food right on the move, and their jaws work like a huge sea. In an hour, this shark is able to filter more than 1,500 cubic meters of water, and its stomach can hold more than 1,000 kilograms of small crustaceans. The basking shark is very rare to appear at the water's surface. Most often, it appears at the surface in spring and summer when the water is rich in small fishes. In winter, this shark hibernates, feeding on the blubber accumulated during the season. That's all, guys. Which of these sharks impressed you the most? Write in the comments below. And if you liked the episode, subscribe to the channel, press the like button, and don't forget to stay notified of upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and see you later.